Ro, good to see you again. Uh, tell us what you want to hear from Mark Zuckerberg and why has Facebook been so uh, reluctant to, uh, you know, face the music, deal with it, and try to rectify these errors? Well, Andrea, uh, thanks for having me back on. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, we need more transparency, but as Tim Cook has said, we also need well-crafted regulation. Uh, Self-regulation isn't going to cut it. Uh, I have said that we could have an Internet Bill of Rights or a Data Bill of Rights, some very simple things. Uh, people need to be able to ask for their data uh, just like you can ask for your health data. Uh, you should have to actually consent before your data can be used. And I think this is a moment uh, for people like Sheryl Sandberg and others to really uh, show leadership and help rally uh, so that we can have nuanced regulation and actually get something passed in Congress. Now, our, our partners, Channel 4 in the UK, are reporting that Cambridge Analytica still has uh, data from all of these Colorado residents that, that was previously amassed, that they have still not delete, deleted the data that they uh, said that they had deleted. Right. It's very concerning. And here's why, let's say we had a law that said you have the right to ask for your data. Uh, well, then places like the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which have thousands of people on Facebook, they would have made a data request back in 2015, uh, both of Facebook and of Cambridge Analytica. And if they didn't get the information uh, about their data, the FTC could have subpoenaed them. And we would have known about this before that data was abused. Obviously, in uh, Britain, it was abused for the Brexit campaign. Uh, and here, people's data was abused to manipulate a political process where they may have ended up unwittingly supporting a candidate's efforts uh, that didn't align with their values. So it's a, a very serious concern, and there's a very uh, simple solution, which is we need to give people the right to their data. And if, in fact, the Obama administration had uh, a proposed Internet Bill of Rights. It didn't go anywhere back then because, uh, frankly, enough tech leaders weren't behind it. Uh, I really think this is a moment where we need to get it done. What about the influence of the tech industry, especially on Democratic politicians? Well, look, I think that uh, technology plays a positive role in social media. Let me give you two concrete examples. Uh, the Parkland kids, I don't think they would have had as much influence or mobilization if it weren't for being uh, on Facebook Live or on Twitter. So I think many Democrats say uh, social media is empowering. It allows people to organize with the grassroots. But this technology has clearly been abused. And uh, we've seen that self-regulation isn't going to work. Uh, so I think that Democrats need to be tough and say, we're going to have regulation uh, that's going to take place. Now, the question is, is it going to be nuanced and thoughtful regulation, which I think it will if tech leaders step up and are part of the solution. If they don't step up, I fear that you may actually have a sledgehammer approach uh, that's not going to be a good for innovation or the most thoughtful regulation. So I think everyone in Congress has to come to the conclusion that uh, we need to regulate uh, to protect uh, consumers' privacy. From what you know of your colleagues, uh, do you think that they are knowledgeable enough to come up with thoughtful regulation on in such a complex area, to put it kindly? Well, I think that there needs to be more nuance. For example, when people say, well, let's just make uh, Facebook a utility. Well, what they're really saying is, do you want to give Facebook a guaranteed rate of profit of 15 percent and entrench them for the next 20 or 30 years? I don't think that's necessarily a, a good idea. I think that's uh, treating them like PG&E. I think what would be much better is to come up with thoughtful uh, proposals on what you can do with data. Can you ask for your data? Uh, can you have affirmative consent? Uh, can you make sure that your data is portable? And there's some really thoughtful people uh, who have spent years, like Larry Lessig, Nicole uh, Rung, Andrew McKilvray, thinking about these issues. I think we need to bring them in, uh, have a thoughtful conversation, and come up with a regulation. Regulation always lags behind technology, but this is really a time not for sound bites, not for someone trying to get on the evening news by asking a clever question to Mark Zuckerberg. It's really a time to get the uh, leading thinkers on this in Congress so that we can protect the American people and have nuanced regulation. 
I'd love it if you would also tee up our next conversation about Amazon and the president tweeting now, uh, certainly reaffirming Mike Allen's reporting on Axios, that the president is going after, he's obsessed with Amazon, and the fact that he is tweeting today about it and talking about Amazon, uh, we don't know what his motivation is, whether he's concerned by things that he's hearing from pals of his in the real estate industry and who own you know, shopping malls and don't like online sales, but the fact is, that he's tweeting with inaccuracies in his tweets about the sales tax paid by Amazon and other online purveyors. Uh, what are the risks for Amazon here where the President of the United States goes after a major company? Well, what's sad with the President is he often seems to have a political motive. I know he doesn't like what's reported in the Washington Post and he associates uh, Amazon with uh, the Washington Post because Amazon or Bezos has an interest in the Post. Uh, I wish that we were to depoliticize this and just look at the facts. Is there a concern about Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods or uh, mergers? Absolutely there's a concern in terms of what those kind of mergers would do uh, to small businesses, to wages, uh, and instead of uh, having the president tweet out uh, singling out companies, uh, really this should be a matter for the Justice Department and not in a politicized way. But then, as you know, Andrea, this president has politicized almost every aspect of the federal government, and it does uh, no service to people who really want to have a thoughtful approach uh, to prevent a monopolization.